everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here today. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below. Both of those really help my channel grow. So today I am here with a collaboration with Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South, along with several other lovely ladies doing a collaboration on kids gifts of items that we have found at the Dollar Tree. And I am so excited. If you have been a part of my channel for a while, you've seen me haul a lot of these items saying that I'm going to put together some kids gifts and today's finally the day that I'm going to do it. And I'm really excited to see them all come together. Once you're done watching my video, don't forget to stop by the other ladies down on the playlist below so that you can get other ideas from them as well. If you're coming from one of those other channels, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. Please consider hitting subscribe and staying for a while, checking out my channel and see if you know we're a fit because I love my subscribers and I have a wonderful group here and I'd love to have you join. So let's get started with these kids gifts. So the gifts that I am planning to put together this year have an age range of a baby who is just a few months old all the way up to early teenagers. And so these are the containers that I'm going to be using to put all my gifts in. So Daisy over here, she is the baby. I did use my Cricut and vinyled her name and some little daisies on there. And that vinyl is actually from Dollar Tree. It's the iridescent vinyl and if you can see on there the way it kind of changes colors it is a fun fun vinyl but a little bit difficult to work with and then over here we have that same vinyl for Reese and so here in the middle we have a four-year-old a almost seven-year-old ten-year-old and a nine-year-old and so I got the toolboxes for the boys and I got the co little caboodles for the girls and these awesome flower makeup bags for the teenagers. I was never able to find those from Frugal J. She sent those to me because she is the best so that I can make these gifts for them. And I actually have one more teenager I need to buy for, so I need to still find another vessel for her stuff. And so these are the containers. And now let's get started with the items that I have to fill them up with. So here's the little basket I have for Daisy. Again, she is just a few months old. And so what I have here for her is I do have a couple of these Briscoe Baby onesies. They are in size six months. And she is coming up on that size. I There's no way she's gonna fit in this anytime soon. She's an itty bitty one. But I have some of these. I picked up these adorable little baby mittens. How do you not? Because how cute are those? They each come with two pairs. There's the pink and the mint, and then the little white ones with the striped, because that way when she loses some, they're there. I'm gonna give her this fuzzy friend. It is the little unicorn. Um, this hair bow in pink, which is adorable. And this little toy, it says three plus, but it is two darn cute little keys that can grow with her. Um, some socks with the little fruits on them. And then this is just weighting down this because I did the string to hold it open. We have a little bell brush and comb for her hair. And so now what I'm gonna do is just try to place the items in here. I used a string right here and taped it to both sides so that it would stay open even when it's just filled up with all the stuff. Oh, and we lost it. That is not working very well. It was a try. So we're just gonna place all the fun stuff in here like that for her because unless I open it all, it's not gonna close, but I can just give it to her just like this. And so there is a gift for a baby. I may or may not fold and put the onesies in with the top just to have them in there or just put them in the gift bag with everything. But there we go. That is just a little gift for a baby.
All right, here we have a box for Dylan. Dylan's favorite color is pink, so I did his name in pink. And he loves cars. He is about four and a half years old and loves literally everything pink and everything cars. So what I picked up for him, everything is from the Dollar Tree. We got this book, the fun activity book, and it is Paw Patrol. And it's Let's Explore All Things Go. So it's all about vehicles and cars and bikes and everything. So I thought he would like that. We have the roads that came from Dollar Tree in their Make It Blocks section. And that is something that he can drive his cars on. Of course, right now, everything is all things Bubble Snap Pop because the poppets are, I don't know, all the rage with the children. Who knows? I don't understand. So we're going to put that in there. These, again, the fuzzy friends. I wanted to make sure to give one to everyone because they're so soft and so adorable. We have some car dust for his bath. It's like bath bomb dust. And then, of course, the cars. This I found specifically for him because it is pink. It's got the cherry blossoms, so I thought he would love that. And then just a couple other cars that were picked up and can toss those in there. And so that is for a little boy who loves all things cars. Yeah, maybe we'll just do two in there for now. And just layered up in there is a nice little gift basket. Here we go with a little set for a nine-year-old little girl. Her name is Layla. And you know, everyone loves all things personalized, so I did a few things for her. It says her name right here. She is a big fan of Harry Potter. And Luna Lovegood is her favorite, so I added the little Luna glasses just for a little added detail on there. Her favorite color is green, so I tried to pull some of the green stuff that I could. We have a personalized brush for her with a nice big L this fuzzy scrunchie that's kind of in this green color i did decide to throw in some lip gloss this is you know pretty sheer so i thought that that would be good for her these awesome diaries and we did personalize it with her name on that and then she's a big fan of all the things pop it and so we got the big unicorn pink pop it as well as these other little fidgets the little small bubble popper and the bracelet bubble popper as well. Again, I love these little plushies. I'm going to give her the penguin. And then one thing not from Dollar Tree, but I did find it on clearance at Target for $1.49 is this little Lego bracelet that my daughter loves. So I assume Layla will love it too. So let's get this one put together. I'll take the price tag off of the bracelet before I give it to her. But here is one for a nine-year-old little girl, all but one thing Dollar Tree. So a great little gift and easy to put together. to put one together for a little boy who's just a little bit older. Eli is turning seven here very soon and so a little bit older than four. So what I'm doing here is just a lot of the fidgety things that seem to be really popular but we have this really soft sloth. He's about as soft as the other fuzzy friends but he's the whole little guy. Another bubble snap popper. We have the shark squishy who is awesome and nice and squishy the car dust so the bath bomb crumbles 
Then we're going to add in here the Uno Go, and I love this, it's so small and adorable. So it's a little game. We have a Hot Wheels, the little small poppet, and then this one novelty ball that's supposed to be, you know, nice and bouncy. So we're going to get all this in this one. And here we go. All right, this one we have for a preteen slash early teenager. We couldn't go quite as young. I thought the caboodles looked a little too young for them. So that's why we have this makeup bag here to put everything in. I thought it would be nice, you know, they're getting to the age of wearing makeup, some of these really lighter colors, and they're the flower makeup brand that I was able to find, which was exciting. This awesome tabletop mirror that came from Dollar Tree, some nail files, I like these ones a lot, and then this little trinket tray that I like the sediment of don't be the same, be better. Um, I probably want to grab some nail polish as well and a couple other things to fill this in but for now let's see how this all fits in this little bag probably put some tissue paper in the bottom which I did not do so there we go nice easy Dollar Tree gift for an early teenager. Maybe a scrunchie would be nice in there too because they like scrunchies. So just the possibilities, you know, really are endless to go with whatever your particular gift recipient likes. Now, if you're someone who's more into giving themed gift ideas, and I do love a good theme, believe me, I just wanted to throw this idea in there. I was able to find all these items that are Despicable Me at Dollar Tree, so Minions, and then I was adding in a couple things that just fit. So what I found is this book, and it's awesome because it's Gru's Gadget Guide, so it kind of shows a bunch of like his weapons and stuff, like the different guns and different items that he uses you know, being Gru, and it also has a st set of tattoos here in the back, so it's a super fun book. And since Dollar Tree has a bunch of the minions, I have the three plushies here. We have Bob, we have Otto, and Stuart as some of the little plushy minions. They also have the little, um, what do you call these? Micro collection is what it says on here little figurines and on here we have young Gru, Kevin and Stuart again and I thought it would be a nice addition to toss in this foam dart blaster because it just reminded me of some of the little things that Gru uses and you know the bubble popper in yellow because it matches the minions and so we can just toss all this right in here like this And then we have just a fun little minion themed gift basket. I do love a good theme. And this would be good too. I know it's probably too late in the season this year, but if you do an adopt a kid and you don't know much about them, but you have an age range, this is a fun way to just kind of toss them all together that they'll probably still really like according to age. All right, now lastly, I wanted to show a fun family gift that is for somebody who has kids. And this one I call, it's the Make a Snowman Kit. So it's everything you need to make a snowman, except for the snow and the sticks. So 
what prompted this is you can find this in the toy section at Dollar Tree and it has this carrot in here which is a perfect carrot nose for a snowman. And so what you're going to do is you're going to find a scarf in the Dollar Tree. They have a lot. And I do have this set is for both a boy snowman and a girl snowman. So we have the woman's scarf and a man's scarf. We then need some mittens or gloves for their hands. So we have the matching mittens and gloves to go with the scarves. Of course, a snowman needs a hat. So we have the pink hat for the girl snowman. We have the blue hat for the boy snowman. And we need their face. So Dollar Tree has stones. Sometimes you can find the black ones. Sometimes they're different colors. But we got now the buttons on the shirt and the eyes and mouth here in the stones. Of course, the carrot noses. And then just to add up a little bit of fun and to say what this is, you have some choices of different snowmen that the Dollar Tree can sell just to make your basket look a little bit more fun. And then it gets cold when you're making snowmen. So we have a box of hot chocolate and some little mugs for the kiddos to keep them nice and warm while they are building their snowmen or right afterwards. So what you have then is a build a snowman kit for the family. guys that's what I have for you today for the kids gift baskets I hope you found some ideas to get together some gift baskets for the kiddos yourself let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite um, if you are new here please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family thank you so much for joining me today don't forget to go watch all the other lovely ladies videos and get their ideas from them I can't wait to go watch them myself and I will see you guys next time bye